What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be rebuilding the Golden State Warriors. Now I saw this idea quite a, lot, a long time ago where uh, this is going to be taken from Six Rings of Steel and I wanted to do it because I thought it was kind of fun. Um, this season the Warriors have three free agents coming up. They have Clay Thompson, Kevin Durant, and Marks Cousins and uh, Six Rings of Steel said that, or no he didn't really say, he uh, didn't resign any of them. So he let all three of them walk and he rebuilt the team with just Steph Curry and Draymond Green. I'm going to do that today because I think that would be fun. So KD has already been talking about how he wants a bag. Clay Thompson, I don't know. He's been saying how, you know, like he'd be taking a pay cut. But at the end of the day, he's already won rings. Go get a bag, Clay. Go get a bag. And then the Warriors have already talked about how they can't resign to Marcus Cousins anyway. But, I mean, if KD and Clay were to walk, could they potentially resign to Marcus Cousins? Is it possible? I'm not sure. I don't think it would be because I still don't think they have the cap space for it. Maybe they would, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, do that today. So we're just going to basically rebuild the team with uh, uh, KD, Draymond, or KD, Clay, and uh, DeMarcus Cousins all uh, being free agents. So we're going to go ahead and fix the rotation now, though. Just let DeMarcus Cousins in the rotation just because, you know, uh, no reason to not have him in. And then we're going to go ahead and simulate to the end of the season. Just see how this team does. And uh, hopefully uh, we win a championship. I mean, I really don't have to do anything this first season. So, well, hopefully we win a championship. Heck yeah, look at me. I won a championship my very first season. This rebuild's over. I'll see you guys later. Subscribe if you haven't. Already. Nah, I'm just kidding. But uh, obviously we're going to win a championship the first season. It's the Golden State Warriors. But this is where it's going to get interesting. Losing three all-stars. That is going to be uh, different. So let's see how we can uh, make this team after that happens. So for the draft lottery... Uh, I mean, we we have, we have the 30th pick, of course, and then for the staff signing, Steve Kerr, still our head coach, which is great. Not a big deal there. And then, uh, of course, we have uh, Curry under a big contract, Draymond Green under a decently sized contract, Andre Iguodala. I just resigned Jordan Bell, and then Damian Jones and uh, Jacob Evans are still here as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hopefully try to get rid of Iguodala. I just really don't want him on my team anymore. Um, we have the 30th pick, so 30th pick and Andre Iguodala attached. Let's just see what we can get for him. Matthew Delvadova, Rodney Magruder, Jay Crowder, and a first round pick. So, I mean, we're still kind of a win now team right now, so we still want to make this team really good if we can. And I really like the idea of getting Jay Crowder, so we're going to go ahead and do this trade. So, Jay Crowder, welcome to the team. A lot cheaper than Andre Iguodala, so we're going to go with that. And for rookie side, I obviously don't have anybody. Player options, Kevin Durant declines, Aaron Durant declines, Sean Livingston. And uh, and then, of course, we're going to basically renounce everybody we got. Quinn Cook, wouldn't mind bringing him back. And then Capolds, what is it looking like? Let's see our salary cap table. So we have negative 80 million cap space. So Kevin Durant, gone. Clay Thompson, gone. Sean Livingston, gone. DeMarcus Cousins, gone. Quinn Cook, oh, I want to bring him back. Jonas Drebko, gone. Kevon Looney, Alonzo McKenzie. Damian Lee, uh, Derrickson, and so we got 22 million cap space. Now this isn't a contract that Marcus Cousins would re would sign to, I don't think. So that's why, obviously, um, he's gonna move on to someone else. But I, I like the idea of getting Quinn Cook back if we can. But uh, you know, basically, we're gonna have to just rebuild this team another way. And Draymond Green, I don't know if he really fits the team anymore because we don't have a bunch of all stars around us. So maybe. I possibly trade him I don't know we'll see uh, Crowder could play the four if need be and Jordan Bell still come off the bench or play the center and Damian Jones so we have quite a bit of options so let's go ahead and uh, see what Draymond Green warrants on the market 80 88 overall power forward 18 mil left on his contract so would we'll trade him I'm probably gonna trade him before he becomes a free agent that's for sure uh, Rudy Gobert would be awesome Brandon Ingram would be cool Mohamed Bamba, Carlos LeVert, Michael Porter Jr. I'm still wanting to make this a win now team though, so it's not like I'm trying to go out and get like uh, some rebuilding piece. So we'll keep Draymond Green for now probably. And then probably at the trade deadline we'll make a decision there. But uh, we gotta decide what we're gonna do with this team. So Curry is basically what we're building around and obviously he's gonna have the ball in his hands a lot. Probably gonna be the best player. Probably gonna average, probably gonna be MVP I would think just the way he scores the ball. Um, Draymond Green, eh, 
Yeah, so we need a center. That's a, I think that's my number one thing. Uh, I don't like Damian Jones as my center, starting center all season. So let me find someone better than that. Um, who could be my starting center? So this is basically going to be the We Believe Warriors all over again. No, not really, but it's going to be different. So what about shooting guards? Uh, Redick. Oh, my gosh, my alarm. Sorry. My alarm is going off. I apologize. Uh, Brogdon. DeLon Wright, Austin Rivers, Avery Brown, Jamal Crawford. Uh, can I like the idea of Redick or Brogdon coming in? We can go Malcolm Brogdon. I think uh, Brogdon and Curry would be a co pretty cool backcourt for maybe three seasons. So we can go with that. Um, but a center, like I said, a center is important. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't really want to get DeAndre Jordan. Musevich is cool, which we could go with that. Brooke Lopez. We could wait till next year to get a better center, though. So, what about Ennis Can? No, Ennis Can. I don't think Ennis Cantor would ever go to the Warriors. I really don't. Uh, Rook Lopez, Willie Colley Stein, Hagar Saul, Jermaine McGee, back to the Warriors. Dwayne Dedman, Nerlens Noel. We could just get like Nerlens Noel for a couple seasons. Could be our backup center after next year. So, we could do that. Um, what else we got? Small forwards. We're gonna need a new small forward now. Carmelo Ariza, Wilson Chandler, Cephalosha, Lance Stevenson, Kelly Oubre, Kyle Korver, Royce O'Neal. Uh, this team is not going to be very good, I don't think. Uh, Carroll, Ariza, Carmelo, Rudy Gay. Let's go with... I like the idea of getting Royce O'Neal or Marizonia. Royce O'Neal, go for him for one season. Crowder is already probably going to be our starting small forward, so that's going to be our bench piece. So, Brogdon, Nersenwell, and uh, Royce O'Neal. That's fine. Okay, never mind. We don't even get Brogdon anymore. So, we need a better shooting guard. JJ Redick uh, might be the move. Terry Rozier, Isaiah Thomas, Rondo, Beverly, Dinwiddie, Derek Rose. Yeah, so, Redick or DeLon Wright? Let's go Redick for one season. Let's just get him for one season. I don't know if I want to get him for... We could go... No, not a two-way. We could go two years... And then make it a team option to see if he'll accept that. I don't know if he will. But we can do that. Um, obviously, Clay Thompson would be cool to have back. But like I said, it's a challenge. This is kind of a challenge video. I'm not resigning any All-Stars from our previous run at a championship. So doing something a little different today, obviously. So we get um, JJ Redick. So that is cool. Which is what we wanted. So Redick and uh, Curry in the backcourt. That's going to be deadly shooting. Not going to lie. I mean, Clay Thompson was already kind of there of course but that's gonna be some deadly shooting going down um let's get quinn cook back though because i really like him Ooh, you know what you know what let's get curry let's get curry's brother let's do it i actually kind of want to offer him a better contract than that but whatever seth curry hopefully welcome back to the team quinn cook let's get quinn cook now where are you quinn cook oh wait let me just look over here I'm all the way like down here. So Quinn Cook, let's just get Quinn Cook back, and that's all we'll do for this offseason, I think. So five mil, two years, and then Seth Curry. Can I re? Uh, I wish I could change my offer, but Quinn Cook sign, and then let me change my offer for Seth Curry. Let me sign him for like two seasons. He's a point guard, but I'm gonna move him to shooting guard probably. Uh, yeah, two seasons. Still unsigned. Curry's brother, welcome to the team. Now we're all complete. So. Now I look at the roster, it's not going to be that good. Jacob Evans is going to get sent to the G League, but uh, Curry probably going to go to shooting guard like he usually used to play. And then Curry, Quinn Cook, Redick, Seth Curry, Jacob Evans go to the G League, Crowder, Wes O'Neal, Draymond Green, Jordan Bell, and then there as well, Damon Jones. So yeah, that's going to be our roster. It's not going to be that great. I don't know if we'll still squeeze in the playoffs, but we'll see. If we don't, that's all good, but I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the end of next season. All right, at the trade deadline, Draymond Green is about to walk for nothing, essentially nothing, and Clint Capella is sitting here, and he's looking good. I, I really want Clint Capella, and I think that would be a nice trade. And there are some other trades that I thought about, and I don't want to let Draymond Green walk for nothing. He uh, he asked for like 30 mil in the offseason, so I'm not giving that to him. Chris Middleton was looking cool as well, but at the end of the day, I think Clint Capella would solve our center issues because Nero as well won't be resigned after this season. It's going to be a bench. Well, I guess he's going to be... I still on the team. He's going to be our bench center. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go with this trade. So, Draymond Green gets traded to the Rockets. And we get Clint Capella in return. So, basically, 
Neuros and Well will be hitting the bench, and then Clint Capella will be starting. So let's go ahead and see what the rotation is looking like. Now, so we've got Curry, JJ Reddick, Jay Crowder, Jordan Bell, Clint Capella, Neuros and Well, Seth Curry, Quinn Cook, and Wes O'Neill. And then, uh, you know, Damon Jones hits the bench. So, really like that. Really like how this is looking. So, definitely a, a good quality team. I like how it's looking. The Splash Brothers 2.0 are looking good so far. Let's go ahead and see my to the end of this season and uh, see how it goes. So after everything, Klay Thompson goes to the Dallas Mavericks. Very interesting. Where does Kevin Durant? Cousins goes to the Bulls. Uh, Kevin Durant does not make the All-NBA first team. Uh, Curry still on the Warriors. Russell Westbrook, of course. All-defensive second team. Uh, Katie, where is Kevin Durant? He's got it. Okay, he's on the Pacers. Interesting. Okay. And then... Um, Obviously, we probably have nobody else on these teams. All defense first team. No one. And we did make the playoffs, though. Uh, 50 and 32. Third seed in the West. Still having Steph Curry and his brother Seth. Redick, I think, was a huge contributor to our success. So, probably will resign him. Cook Capella, 14 and 11. So, he's going to be our nice center of the future. And then Seth Curry, obviously, had a decent season off the bench. So, definitely happy to have him. And then Royce O'Neal Crowder did their thing at the small forward spot. We'll have to figure out a better solution at the small forward spot this offseason. But let's beat the Sacramento Kings in the first round, hopefully. Uh, they're up 2-0 to start the series. They're up 3-0, and they're going to sweep us? Okay, we're up 3-2, and we get eliminated six games. So, kind of embarrassing. Uh, we lost to the Sacramento Kings, but... Uh, okay, what are the Kings even looking like nowadays? They just lost to them badly. Fox, they got Bagley, Buddy Healed. Yeah, their team is you know, kind of stacked top to bottom, so that's all right. So let's simulate these playoffs. And uh, we have one more offseason to make this team better, which we will. We got a small forward spot to fill, I think, and hopefully have enough cap space to make it better. I think we should. I hope, anyway. So small forward spot is going to be the focus this offseason. All right, so we got a small forward spot to focus on. Tyrion Prince was looking decent, uh, decent signing out here. Uh, all positions, so... Small forward, and we kind of need a power forward as well. Sarge, I think, would be cool if we could get him, but I don't know if he would come for the money that he wants. Bertans would be, uh, you know, kind of a stretch big off the bench would be cool, so we can go ahead and give him some money. So let's see what we got. Dar Sarge and uh, Davis Bertans. Trade exception. Yeah, renounce those rights. And then Turing Prince has accepted another offer. So Sarge and Bertans. We don't need uh, Bertans necessarily. So we can get Sarge. And the Lakers have decided to match the offer sheet you signed. Okay. So, never mind about that. And then, uh, Sabonis was here. Buddy Heal, Chris Dunn. Dal Gallinari is looking decent. I mean, that's looking like our best option, honestly. So, I've never signed Gallinari. So, that's looking, like I said, that looks like our best option at this point. And then, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know about everything else. Power forward. I guess we'd go back to signing Bertans if he's still there. I don't know if he still is. Where is he? There he is. Okay. And then we can get Gallinari and Bertans, I guess. That's what we're going to have to do. So, Gallinari and Bertans. So, Gallinari is our big sign in this offseason. We only had 18 mil or 8 mil in cap space. So, not a whole lot of money to work with. But, Curry, Quinn Cook, JJ Reddick, Seth Curry, Gallinari, Jacob Evans at the small forward spot as well. Jordan Bell, Davis Bertans, Quinn Capello, and Nerlens and Well. So, is the championship caliber? Heck no. Uh, let me see if there's anything I can do to make it championship caliber because I'm not a big fan of this team right now. Uh, let if we go Jacob Evans and a unprotected first round pick. I need another all-star, I think. I feel like. Uh, am I going to get one? Probably not, but, you know, we could always try. Uh, not seeing one. So, what if we did, like, something in the trade? Uh, what small forward we want to target? Jason Tatum, obviously, it's going to be impossible to trade for. Prince could have been cool. Uh, Batum, he's not an all star. Uh, la, 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 la. Ooh, LeBron James. No, I'm just kidding. I oh, can't do that. Chris Middleton. Uh, I would. Harrison Barnes back to the Warriors. That's interesting. Could do that. Could target that. Kevin Durant. Uh, Blake Griffin could easily do that, probably. Small forward. Rudy Gay, just no one really popping out at me. Paul George, obviously going to be impossible to trade for. Wiggins, not would be possible. Bradley Beal, John Wall and Bradley Beal are still together up to this day. That team is going to blow up soon, I promise. Uh, Giannis can't trade for him. So the best 
available player I think was either Harrison Barnes or Chris Middleton. Now, which one would you rather go with? I like the idea of getting Harrison Barnes because he's a lot cheaper and uh, so I don't have to trade as much players. So Harrison Barnes and maybe just straight up Gallinari. <laughs> Uh, that's not going to work. Uh, and uh, how about Davis Bertans as well? Galinari Davis Bertans for Harrison Barnes. They want Redick for Bobby Portis? No way. Okay, I'm not giving you Redick. What if I just gave you an unprotected Rocket pick? They agree, so we get Harrison Barnes on the team. Now, does that help us very much? Probably not, but you know what? You could say I did something to try at least. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate to next season. Let's see how this team does. So just like from the beginning of the video, we are the first seed in the Western Conference again, facing the Denver Nuggets once again. And you guys didn't see that because I skipped through it because I didn't want to show you guys myself winning a championship the first season because that didn't really care, that didn't really matter. But Redick 14, 13, 18, 30 points, Jacob Evans, Curry 10. So I mean, this team just meshes well. Facing the Denver Nuggets in the first round, who are super good this season so far, might I add. Jamal Murray literally had 48 points last night, so interesting but 2-1 on the Denver Nuggets they even it up can we go up 3-2 they go up 3-2 can we win guys I could never win anything I really can't like it's just it's just impossible for me I like I feel like 2k just shuns me I I mean like granted my team wasn't a championship team anyway but I mean I could assemble five all-stars together and I still would get eliminated in the first round that's just my luck it really is in 2k but anyways, guys, I do appreciate you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. I mean, like, look at the Timberwolves who are just, like, in chemistry shambles. Got in the finals over me. But, hey, you guys, subscribe if you haven't already. This is Crush Pulse, and I'm saying peace.